Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Get ready as we take two days to explore the beautiful Sedona, Arizona. Let me just tell you guys a quick update. So I ended up leaving from Los Angeles at about four in the afternoon. I ended up getting here almost at close to 12 a.m. Thankfully, I was able to find an open campsite. It was the last one. I just um, came, I circled around, and I found campsite number two that was actually open. This was the last and only campsite open, so I'm actually glad I did not stop at a hotel and I just shot straight here to the campsite. I just spoke to the host and everything is set for me to stay here. I'm leaving on Saturday uh, early morning. Right now I'm going to go and hit up some hikes, some trails. It's only 7 a.m. so I want to do as much as I can with the amount of time that I'm going to be spending out here two full days. Let's get the adventure started. Already on the road, the first hike that I'm going to tackle down is Devil's Bridge. It's it's a little, I think round trip is eight miles, but before I stopped right here, buy some donuts. I'm going to take some donuts for the road and also for the hiking trail. And there's a nearby McDonald's, so you know, it's cheap food. Uh, the only place is open right now at this time, and I'm just trying to start. The temperature is actually really nice, but I can already feel that the sun is going to get hot. So better start this ASAP, let's go. made it to the trailhead right here for a devil's bridge I have to say that I've been very lucky the parking lot is full where you have to park found one parking spot open it's about 8 30 I'm guessing the round trip should take me about an hour or two depending on how fast I go this is how it looks like so this answers my question it says hike to devil's bridge via road is 3.6 miles round trip not bad caution this is a hot and dry hike. Each person should carry at least one gallon of water. I carried a little bit over, but it sh I should be fine. I've said it in past videos and I'll say it again. Every location has, is very unique. To some people, they might look similar because of the color of the rocks, formations, etc. Even the sand here feels a lot different. It's really soft. Along the trail so far, I have to say that the views are really nice from right to left. Even going back, I know just the way the sun's hitting, it's gonna give it a different feel. So far, the trail's pretty easy. It's not that bad. Just make sure you know you watch out for rocks, where you're stepping. Last thing you want is to twist your ankle out here. But wow, this is beautiful. So at approximately 1.20 miles from the parking lot, you're going to see the Devil's Bridge sign and just follow the trailhead down. It's pretty easy, it's not that bad. I've seen a few people, but the parking lot was full. This is the other parking lot right here. If you have a four by four all wheel drive car, bring it over here. You actually wouldn't have to walk that whole piece that I just did for 1.20 miles. You would instead just bring your car over here, park right here, and from here, just head on over to Devil's Bridge. This is where the real trailhead starts. From this point on, we are only 0.7 miles away, which is super quick. I'm going to try to knock that down and get two or three more hikes in today to see as much as possible. Something came to mind as I'm, you know, just walking over here. Just how thankful I am to be able to 
be doing this what I love hiking camping backpacking exploring you know nature I'm grateful that I have the opportunity to do this and for those of you out there that don't like traveling by themselves are afraid or whatever don't let fear keep you from achieving your full potential you know I'm out here by myself but I'm taking the proper precautions I have this Garmin Explorer Plus just for safety tracking my location I'm able to text whenever there's no cellular connection safety always comes first but if you're afraid to travel alone or do this alone don't be once you do one you're fine plus you get to meet a lot of people over here from different countries different areas hikers campers it's one of the best experiences that you'll have get out there get out of your comfort zone and trust me you will see the world in a different way Once you're about two miles in to the trail then this is the part where everything is going to go just uphill rock stairs to reach devil's bridge as you're going up this portion of the trail just please be careful you don't trip and fall take your time wow look honestly during this trail you're going to get a lot of views from all angles <sighs> so beautiful also guys, please do not forget to leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and subscribe to support my channel. There's more content to come. Let's go. After much climbing, we made it. Going to wait to take a picture, shoot some video, but this is the famous Devil's Bridge. part about going out here is that you get to meet all the fellow nurses over here oh God. from Chicago <laughs> and from where else so you're from Florida Florida Pittsburgh Chicago Woo! it's not as yeah. bad as it looks once you're on the bridge itself but looking at it from right here it's freaking terrifying but once you get on the bridge not that bad and I'm scared of heights that was a super fun adventure best part of all the meeting other people along the trail So we decided that nurses stick together, so we're going to hit up some trails right now. <laughs> Just in case one of us is hurt or injured, <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> perfect over here. But just be careful, please, when you're doing this trail. Take your time. Don't eat shit. Don't eat shit. <laughs> I know. Uh huh. Oh my goodness, it's so hard. Is it? Yeah, I thought it was right. So it's called I what again? It's birthing cave. Birthing cave. Birthing cave. Uh -huh. Let's see how it goes. Should be a short. But the sun's kicking in already, huh? Oh, it's hot. It's pretty hot. It's pretty hot. Definitely, like any other trail, bring plenty of water. Wear sunscreen. Lots of sunscreen. Lots, lots of sunscreen. Lots of water. Lots of water because out here there's really no shade. Humidity? Break time! Like this is okay for me. Yeah? <gasps> I can't do the humidity. Can you have a water please? Heat I can do. Water. Thanks. Thanks. I'm under this tree and it's like a little bit. <sighs> okay, right. I'm coming. For the little cactus? This is a prickly pear. It's like it a baby. Have don't okay, have we should be there soon, I hope. Really Freaking hot. Mm -hmm. So apparently this is her first hiking experience ever. <laughs> Big lies. Big lies. Big lies. Uh, no, 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 no. This is good. This is good. It is. All right. Starting to get sketchier, so just be careful. I'm struggling. <laughs> I swear it. You lose on that. So just be careful when you're coming up here. There's a lot of loose rocks. It's hot. Okay. Is this it? Because it stops here. The exploradoras over here. Hey. This is definitely not it. 
Yeah. We made it. Okay, so we're supposed to split the camera up there, you said, right? And get the whole view. Hmm. So let me see. Do we have service how here? In the word, how the fuck are we going to get there? So. Oh. No, <laughs> You got out there. All right. Where Who's first? <laughs> she is. I just fight her. Yeah, I'll get up there. Definitely, this was a pretty fun hike. Climbing into the hole, taking all the pictures, the views were spectacular. Highly recommend it. I'll try to put the coordinates right here under the video for you guys to make it out there. But it was amazing. Now heading back, going to get some food, hydrate. Off the trail, it's time to eat. Going to check out a place called Pump House Station with the girls and get our grub on. Damn, these are good. Let's see how they taste. <laughs> that burger! <laughs> Yeah, they're good. Is this like a new thing or like? So let me play this song. You, I guarantee. Hopefully, right now we're going to dip into some water. Grasshopper, waiting in line. Let's see how it goes. We're out here. We're about to dip into Grasshopper. <laughs> Woo -woo. Woo -woo. Just for a bit, because everybody has to drive back to Phoenix, right? Yeah. Damn. Damn. All right, so apparently there's a lot of rattlesnakes over here. Hopefully not in the water. Doesn't this look like it had water running through it? Yeah, it did actually. It's like literally five minute walk. Literally five minute tops. I know. Tops. And we made it, woo! It's about 5 p.m. about to take on the Cathedral Rock Trail. The round trip is about one and a half to two hours. Sun today is supposed to set at about 6.55 p.m. So hopefully I'm able to catch a sunset up there. Yeah, let's see how it goes. <laughs> Once we get closer to the Cathedral Rock, it's going to go steep. I'm expecting some climbing. I have to say that this is my first day here and first time ever. And I am amazed at the beauty that Sedona has. 360 views are amazing over here. It's so green, can't get any better. Just one thing to know along the way, you're going to see these little like stacks of rocks just to point where the trail is, where it continues. I'm trying to go up there. watch out on the trail for any loose rocks on the floor you don't want to step on those and slip this part is just going to be very steep straight up whoo trying to catch my breath All right, so I'm almost there. The trail is very short, but it's just very steep. If it's raining, definitely don't do it. It's starting to get a little bit windy. We made it! <laughs> definitely recommend this hike. I actually prefer the weather like this than hot. It got super windy over here. Wow, this is breathtaking. Definitely, you guys have to come out here and check it out, Cathedral Rock Trail.
once you reach the end of the trail, the trail ends, but I took a small way to the left and you're way up here. Wow. That is it, time to head back before I get caught in the rain. Hey guys, for tonight's dinner, just gonna cook something really quick, some uh, seasoned chicken with butter. I got some coleslaw at the store and some sourdough bread. I was gonna do some rice and, and quinoa, but I think I'll just leave that for tomorrow. And I also got some mashed potatoes. It's already like 8.25, so I just wanna eat something fast and then enjoy some hot chocolate and I have some pastries. Yeah, living it big over here. <laughs> Hey everyone, good morning. It's now Friday, it's about seven o'clock. I was gonna wake up early, but decided to sleep in because I was exhausted from all the hiking yesterday and the heat. So right now I'm just going to make some quick breakfast and then I'll be heading out to see the, the soldiers pass and then a couple of other hikes. Hikes and trailheads continue. Today, we are going to start with Soldier's Pass. The hike is supposed to be fairly short. It's about 1.7 miles. Round trip, about a uh, little under four. Let's get this started. At the start of the hike, guys, you're going to come to an intersection here at Soldier's Pass. You can either go right uh, to the Jordan or stick left to Soldier's Pass. From the beginning of the trail, you're going to see a bunch of signs. Just follow the signs depending on what trail you want to do out here. One thing I will say guys, whatever trail you do, you're going to get spectacular views. I've been to the Grand Canyon, Bryce, Zion. It's crazy how every national park, there's just something different about every national park, about every structure, about every rock. Nature is so beautiful, guys. Get out and explore it. So I guess right now we're going to add a little trail from a local here that told me there's caves. So I'm like, let's do it. You can see that low ground right there, that is Soldier's Pass. That one over there. Uh -huh. okay. And about halfway between here and there uh -huh. is the seven sacred pools. Okay. You go past there and you, there's going to be a wall like this one. Uh -huh. And uh, you're trying to get up to that level. So the caves, you can see that cave that's up near the top. These yeah. are over here and they're bigger. We are here at the seven sacred pools. From the parking lot here, it's honestly less than 15 minutes. Super easy hike. And so surprisingly, there's a little bit of water. There's not a lot. Typically, these seven sacred pools are, are full of water. I was having some trouble finding the caves. Ran into some people. They're heading out there too, so here we go. made it feels so fresh right now due to the caves and then I guess you can go up there as well you just make sure guys that when you're climbing up this portion right here you're extra careful, Whew. but it does feel a lot fresher out here. Time to go on top of the cave, do some more exploring. Be 
careful right here because freaking probably fall off. Perfect, man. And then up. Oh, yes. Yeah? Easier. Don't go. Made it up here. Here we go. The way up here is sketchy, but it's definitely worth the view. Damn. Man, Sedona. You don't disappoint. Views are amazing up here. And once again, guys, please do not forget to drop some comments, hit the thumbs up button, and subscribe to my channel to help support it. Hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. All right, guys, I made it right here to the parking lot uh, for both trails, the Doe Mountain Trail as well as the Bear Mountain Trail. The Bear Mountain uh, round trips about, I want to say, five miles. Typically, it's going to take people anywhere from four to five hours, whereas the trail to the Doe Mountain is only 0.6, so I should be able to knock it down in an hour tops round trip but add some time for pictures and whatnot. So let's get this started right now. This is the great part of these trails. They're very well kept. You're going to see signs, like I said, all over the place. I'm going to Doe Mountain uh, right now. So I'll proceed that way. But these trails here, they branch out into a bunch of other trails. So be careful, just follow the signs and you'll be good. Ways to the top, finally flat. You know what, it's not that bad of a hike. Going straight to look at the views from the other side where this trail ends and then I'll check out the rest of the views heading down. We are now here at Bell Rock Trailhead. It's one of the three vortex here at Sedona. We're going to check it out. Anytime that you're in a vortex, the way you feel is amplified. So hopefully we feel good. Apparently here there is a rock climb as well as a pathway. We're doing the pathway. It's supposed to feel amazing out here. It's a vortex. I was just talking to someone out here that that comes often to Sedona. He said that, that they do night hikes. So the time that he was out here at about, I wanna say past 10, 10 at night, they were hearing drums and like these strange noises from afar. And then he came a second time uh, and brought his family as well. They heard the drums and, and eerie sounds away. So hopefully today we hear no crazy noises. Just trying to have a nice time, you know? <laughs> Let's go. And like every trail here in Sedona, you're going to find signs and those bundles of rocks to help you stay on track. Honestly, I cannot complain about the weather. It's beautiful right now. It's, uh, I wanna say it's mid 70s. The sun's not even blazing on us anymore. And it looks beautiful out here. Make sure you're looking for those piles of rocks. They won't have a, you know, a nice fancy stick. It's just the piles that take you up the climb up to Bell Rock. Pretty cool stuff. 
Ooh, this will get your heart pumping. Yep, we pushing all the way up. At this point, you just have to make your own route trail up top. Ooh, the climb up here is really sketchy. Just be careful, do it with a lot of sunlight. Don't do it in the dark. I think I might just stop here. But this is Bell, Bell Rock. This is the, the view from up here. I take that back. I saw this other path. Whew, and I am way up here. Let me just say something, guys. I am terrified of hikes, but it's a fairly uh, easy path up here. So I did not mind uh, coming up here, but the view is spectacular. Hey everyone, so we are now at day three of my trip. Sadly, this is my last morning right here in Sedona. As you can see, the campsite is packed up. It, it was such a beautiful stay here. The hosts are amazing. If you're ever in town, please do not forget to check out Manzanita Campground. It's literally about 10, 12 minutes away from Sedona. Perfect campsite, super clean restrooms, amazing host, highly recommend it. Hey everyone, and just like that, I was able to get my miles in this morning. It was actually really nice. The weather was perfect. As you can see, it got cloudy. It was hot at first, but towards the end of my run, it was fresh, a nice breeze. So this is the end of my trip. Unfortunately, I went over to Slide Rock. It is completely full at this time, and it's only like nine o'clock. I called and I checked as well. The wait time is approximately over three hours so my best chances is if i were here uh, for one more extra day i could probably sneak in in the afternoon but unfortunately i can't do it it's time for me to head back home i have work tomorrow but thank you guys so much for joining me on this two and a half day trip over here to sedona where i was able to do some hikes explore this place that i had never ever been to thank you guys for watching like always please do not forget to hit the thumbs up button drop some comments and subscribe to support my channel and like always i'll see you on the next one